everyone, today I'm going to talk about the importance of movement variety in your workouts, movement varieties in real life, and movement varieties in the gym. So if you just take a look at this kind of cycle that most people go through, um, they go to the gym and they do their same routine, and that leads to repetitive patterns, which leads to pattern overload, muscle and joint stress, and then eventually injury. So that's, you want to have good movement variety in order to avoid some aches and pains. So common things that I see people do, you know, maybe too much pushing. If we're doing some pushing, make sure you add some pulling in. If you're doing a lot of quad dominant exercises like your squats like this, make sure you add in some hinge exercises just like this. Now another thing about exercising in the gym and the movements that we do in the gym versus the real world, they're, they're not exactly the same. Exercises in the gym should help to supplement movements in the real world. So what we see in the gym is we can load up patterns like this, like the squat, we can load up patterns like the pressing, but that's all in one plane of motion. So that's when variety in your warm up becomes very important. Multi-planar variety is what I'm talking about. So if we start a warm up out and we're doing a lunge, that's fine, that's good. But also we want to start moving about in different planes, side to side. Backwards. You know, you can have your hands up in there to get your thoracic spine staying upright. We can do a lunge forward, hips down, up, and we can move about. Other great things that you can do in your warm-up are get-ups. That's just something that I don't see that many people doing at the gym. It's something we have to constantly do every single day. You're down on the ground, and you get up. That's, that's a real easy version. If you want to be cruel to yourself, feel free to throw in some burpees. Jump up. Feel free to do some push-ups in that. It's all going to be good for you. So it's all about getting that movement variety in your warm up. So again, mix everything up. Don't stick with just your pressing. Don't stick with just your squats. Make sure that you're doing different things every single time that you go to the gym. Okay? Thanks.